Yo, what's going on everybody? This is Brendan back again with another video and today we're going to be talking about one of my all-time favorite things to do as a cinematographer which is lighting nighttime scenes. <laughs> Lighting a nighttime scene is something that I see a lot of first time or young cinematographers make tons of mistakes on. The number one biggest mistake that I see most first time DPs or film students and everybody alike, they light everything evenly dark, like two or three stops underexposed from sort of like a neutral gray tone because they're trying to make the whole image look dark because it's nighttime and when it's nighttime it's dark. That's the philosophy that they have. And although it makes sense when you say it in your head and even when you say it out loud, um, when you put it to practice, it really doesn't work. The reason it doesn't work is for one, it doesn't feel very cinematic. And when everything is evenly dark, you're not isolating a subject, you're not separating foreground and background, you're not making any sort of dimension or depth to the shot. And that's what makes the shot feel not cinematic. Also, if it's too dark, um, a lot of the times, literally film students will, will not light a scene that's that takes place at night and so it's really dark and in order to even expose for the darkness they boost the ISO and they get tons of noise in the shadows so you're left with just an evenly dark noisy shot where even the, the subject is dark and the background is dark and you can't even tell what you're looking at and it just looks awful. So this is the number one thing that I see in most nighttime scenes and good news is it's really easy to not do that, and it's really easy to improve upon that and make it better. So instead of lighting everything evenly dark, the easiest way to fix this is just by lighting things with more contrast. So when you actually light something, it's okay to light something, say a subject's face or the side of a building or whatever it is you're lighting, and exposing for that properly, completely neutral, middle gray exposure. Even it's okay to have really bright parts of your image. The key is to make contrast. So if you have a nice, bright, well-exposed part of your image, make sure there's also some really nice dark pools of light playing in there as well. When you have contrast, especially contrast between your foreground and background, where if you light your background and your background is really nice and exposed, then maybe try to make your foreground darker. So you still have that separation of foreground background, you still have that contrast. That way it'll still feel like nighttime. Or vice versa, if you light your foreground nice and well and exposed, make your background a lot darker. That's really gonna help give yourself some nice depth and dimension, but also it'll still feel dark. So that's the number one thing you can do when you're lighting nighttime scenes, is just make sure that you have nice contrast in your image. But sometimes just doing that isn't enough to make it feel convincingly like it's nighttime. So if you're still struggling, if you're still looking at your image and feeling like it doesn't feel convincing enough like it's nighttime, then there are two other really, really big things that I recommend you experiment with, play around with, and those two things are gonna really, really help it feel even more like it's nighttime. And those two things are playing with the direction of the light source that you're using, and also playing with the color of the light source, or sources that you're using as well. If you're lighting a nighttime scene, but you're blasting a lot of light from the front, and you're not controlling that light well enough, a lot of times that light is also gonna fall in the background and it's gonna reduce your contrast. So instead of doing that, actually move your light to the side or even just backlight your scene. That way the background will be lit. Maybe you'll have a nice side light or edge light on your actor or your subject, say it's a building or a car or even a tree or whatever, um, or a piece of furniture. And if you do that and it still doesn't feel nighttime enough, then the last thing you can try to do is mess with the color a little bit of your image. This more has to do with the psychology of nighttime lighting, but not necessarily trying to make it feel like realistic nighttime lighting. When you think about it, scientifically, um, moonlight, for instance, is actually pretty much the same color as the sun um, because it's literally the sun's light bouncing off the moon and the moon is a neutral gray, so it doesn't really add in a lot of its own color. The psychology of it, when you just have white light, sometimes it doesn't work. Sometimes it feels a little bit off. And to make it a little bit more like cinematic moonlight, psychologically you want to actually shift that color a little bit blue. So when you start to shift it a little bit cooler, that'll help you make it feel a little bit more like it's, like it's nighttime. So as a perfect example, I actually have a shot here um, that I actually shot during the daytime, but it used 
all natural light. This was actually sunlight coming into this scene, um, but it utilized some of those techniques I was talking about earlier by having light coming from the back and having dark pools of shadows and stuff in your shot. So with this kind of semi silhouette that I had going on in the direction of the light, when it comes in, it's daylight balanced. So it actually still kind of doesn't really feel like a nighttime scene, and it wasn't, it was a daytime scene. But if you actually shift that light in post-production, just in color grading, if you shift that a little bit blue, then it starts to feel a lot more like nighttime. It's just a psychological thing that goes on in your brain. So try those two tips out. Experiment with the direction of your light. Experiment with the color of the light. That's really gonna help you make it feel a lot more like nighttime. And make sure there's contrast in your image. And to simplify it even more for you, if you're still going into your, your next shoot, your next nighttime shoot, and you're feeling a little bit nervous, you're feeling a little bit unconfident because you've never done it before, this is really gonna help you. Think about it like this. this. This goes for not even just nighttime shoots, but this goes for anything. The first thing you wanna do, the first decision you're making is what are the sources of light that are gonna be in your scene? Where's the light coming from? There's really only two answers to this. It's either coming from the moonlight or it's coming from a man-made practical source, whether that's an actual practical that was already there or a practical that you're faking in the scene that you're creating yourself. And those practicals can include anything from a street light outside to car headlights outside, or if you're inside, it could be a lamp or overhead lighting or anything like that. And really the only other source I can think of is maybe if you're shooting a period piece, you might have some fire or candle light or some kind of oil lamp or something like that, but it's all the same concept. It's either moonlight or man-made practical lights of some sort. And you're really gonna get your answer from what the scene is like and where the location is. If it's outside along a road or on a sidewalk or something, chances are you're going to have street lights, car lights, and moonlight all at the same time. So then it's just the fun part. And as DP, you get to decide um, where all those lights are, where they're coming from, the color of them. You can experiment with uh, the quality of them, whether it's hard shadows or nice, soft, even lighting and things like that. So um, you can have a lot of fun with it from there. Once you make those simple decisions, and your image is gonna look dope at that point. So those are my tips for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you have a lot of fun shooting your next nighttime scene. If you do, let me know in the comments how it went. If you have more questions about lighting nighttime scenes or any kind of lighting or anything involving cinematography in general, let me know in the comments. Shoot me a private message or hit me up on Instagram at bscottyg. Thank you guys again for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will catch you guys in my next one. Peace out.